Hello everyone, in this video I would like to talk about the difference between envelope tracking and envelope elimination and restoration technique. If you are new to this channel, I would request you to please subscribe it and also like the video. And I expect that you have some background in analog RFIC design in order to follow this video. And also there is some background in telecommunication also required. So let's get started with this video. There is another video which, in which I have in detail explained envelope tracking. So I will not go into too much detail about envelope tracking. So only the differences between envelope tracking and envelope elimination and restoration EER will be explained here. So in principle, envelope tracking Tracking and envelope elimination and restoration EER belong to a category of power amplifier or transmitter architectures in which the input signal is, is modified in a way so that we get high efficiency. In envelope tracking what is done is the envelope is extracted from the input RF signal and it is used to modulate the supply of the RF power amplifier and the exact signal is then fed into the gate of the amplifier and in this way we get high back of efficiency and back of efficiency is needed because the modern signals have high peak to average power ratio and this required this requires power amplifier to be efficient at back of as well in eer there is similarity in envelope tracking in the sense that the supply is also modulated with the amplitude of the signal but the input signal to the RF power transistor is the phase modulated constant amplitude signal. This is a big difference. It is a phase modulated constant amplitude signal and the supply is not 100% modulated. It might be like average power tracking as in case of ET but for the moment you can consider that in EER the supply is also tracked as in ET but only difference is that the phase modulated signal is given to the power amplifier which is the switching mode power amplifier in EER. Another important thing in EER and ET is that in ET the RF amplifier is a linear amplifier while in EER the RF amplifier is a switching mode power amplifier and it is called the word restoration in EER means that in the end the signal is reconstructed from the amplitude and the phase modulated signal. Nevertheless these two are somehow similar techniques and they are here since like 30-40 years and they have been extensively explored and now they are explored again for 5G communication systems and as we speak ET is right now much hot topic when it comes to 5G it is the ET chips are being employed in RF360 Qualcomm uh, 5G solution while EER is not that much uh, out there but still it is explored in research. So these are some comparison between EER and ET. So EER gives very high efficiency and one thing important to be noted that EER efficiency is highest because the amplifier is operated in compression and this also gives a very important point that for EER we need high input drive. For low input drive EER is not that efficient. Also it gives very wide uh, bandwidth uh, because it's a phase signal another critical point is that time alignment must be very important and very critical et also gives very high efficiency good bandwidth and uh, similarly the input drive is not that high as compared to eer also the leakage has to be taken clear care of and for et we require linearization both of these uh, techniques of eer and et need to be they have some problems when the input drive is low eer in particular but also et now we are coming to the end of this uh, presentation so again advantage is both over high efficiency both have excellent thermal management means the transistor don't get hot and uh, the losses are reduced uh, it has a tunable bandwidth and the challenges are that the VDD amplifier is a critical amplifier and it needs to be very high efficiency low cost high voltage capability uh, and the RF rate might be able to operate over a wide uh, VDD range that's also true so it's from the high VDD to low VDD and the gain is also very important especially for EER as the gain is reduced as the amplifier is operated close to saturation but uh, highest efficiency can be obtained in EER. So that's all so please subscribe to our channel like the video visit our website www.poweramplifier.net also read the description of this video if there are some updates we will mention it here also comment and uh, that's all thank you very much.